What's up guys and girls? This is gonna be a Ryan and Callie video. Hey, I'm Callie. So we're gonna talk about a couple tools that we've been using in our warehouse lately for our vintage t-shirt business and for our eBay business. Um, in particular, a Z-Rack and a shoe storage shelf. Both purchased from Amazon? Yeah, both on Amazon. Okay, cool. So this is not a paid video by the brands that make these shelves and Z-Racks. Um, we just wanted to share with you guys like what's been working well for us. Uh, if you do want to purchase either one of these items, you can go to the links in the description of this video. We will get like an Amazon affiliate link or like what you call it. We'll get paid by Amazon a little bit. We you get your buy. money if you <laughs> spend your money. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. It's more about like we want to we're actually going to build one of the shoe racks and build one of the Z racks so you guys can see like the quality of them and why we went with with these. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Let's build. Okay. You rolling? Yeah. So Ben helped me put together all of the other ones. Thanks, Ben. Now Ryan gets to help with this one. True. Do you know how, do you remember how much these cost? 22? 22 bucks. 24? That's pretty, for one? that's pretty good. I'll pop up the actual Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was right around like under 25 bucks. Nice. And nice. I don't remember how much the z Rex. I think cost. the z Rex were like 65 or something like that. And then how many shoes do you assume they hold? I think they say like, they, it says 100, but I wouldn't put 100 on no, that. No, I think we go four across on each row. Okay, so, so we do 40. 10, or 50 is what it says it holds. 50. Oh, it says 50 yeah. and we put four. So we get yeah. 40 shoes per I mean, rack. Some of them have five on each it just depends on the size of the shoe, but really it holds four across. True. So this is how it comes from the... Yeah, this is one of the shoe racks. Okay. And there's lots of pieces. True. So this one does take a little bit longer to construct, but it's very sturdy. And, and it's not going to break and it holds the shoes really well. It's metal pieces. Mm -hmm. Metal pieces with like plastic rivets. Plastic connectors. And then the the shelves themselves are like this. What is this material, Kelly? It's like fabric. Oh, true. Well, it's like a. It's almost like a plastic coated fabric. Oh, there's instructions. It says shoe cabinet installation instructions. Before installing using the product, please read these instructions carefully before assembling the product. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Use for home bedroom, private room, or Rally Roots Ranch. Ooh. Materials include steel, plastic fittings, Oxford cloth, and non-woven fabrics. Mm. No toxic substances. So yes. we have short tube, middle tube, long tube, T-joint, right angle, T-feet, and net cloth. <laughs> It helps if you have two people and a lot of time for this one. <laughs> yeah. There it is, complete. We did it. So it's 10 tier, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tier. We use the top shelf to put like our bigger boots on. So items that, you know, can't really fit on the middle shelves, we'll put it on the top shelves. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good rack. For the money, I think it's one of the best ones that we've had so far. We've bought shoe racks in the past that um, have collapsed. Like yeah. cheap, cheap plastic ones will break and collapse on you. These are at least metal and a nicer fabric. And since it has like this coating on it, they're easy to wipe off True. and keep them clean. True. On to the Z-Rack. <laughs> Let's do it. So next is the Z-Rack. This yes. is how it's packaged when it gets to you. Like so. Like so. Apparently this one's a lot easier to build, yeah? Yeah, it's much easier. So here comes a quick time lapse. Here we 
we go. Here's the completed Z rack. Super easy to build. Holds a full Cali. A full Cali. <laughs> and we use them like this. So we hang all of like our vintage t-shirts on hangers on them, but they move around really nice too. So if you want to like take your rack somewhere, super sturdy. So there's the Z racks. This is what you would call a bad clothing rack. So this not that That's work. Bad. It's working okay right now. <laughs> we kept the good one, but we threw away like four bad ones. True. It's better to spend the extra couple bucks on a solid rack if you're going to be doing a lot of clothing and hanging a lot of stuff. Definitely spend the extra couple bucks. So there you go, guys and girls. There's two new tools that we've been using in our business recently. Um, we've always used clothing racks and shoe racks, but these ones in particular have been working out very well for us. So again, if you want to find the items that we showed in today's video, there'll be links in the description of this video. Thank you, Callie, You're for welcome. helping to build these and find them. I'm pretty sure you found these, yeah? Yes, I researched and found the cheapest, most sturdiest things we could get. Sweet. Tools that make life easier for your business are super important. So once you find something that works, we go heavy into it and <laughs> we get as, as many as we need. But if you guys have any other tools that you think would be good to share with uh, the community, leave a comment on this video and let us know what your favorite thing for your business is. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Again, hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Bye. Of course it doesn't want to go in when you start <laughs> filming me. I can't get it in. <laughs> well, there it goes.